how do we put cast shadows on our car sketches? First of all, let's make a, a simple cube or a simple solid and let's see how cast shadows it's uh, projected on a simple solid, okay? So if, for example, I have my cube here, okay, right? All right, and the cube, of course, is following the perspective. This is like a three-quarter front or three-quarter back perspective. Vanishing points are there, okay, and now on the other, on this side here, okay? Let's draw also in transparency the other part, okay? So here we have this side of my cube, all right? Okay, so now how do I make the cast shadow of this cube? But it's not that complicated, you know? This is the horizon line. I put a straight line here, okay, vertical line, and I say that the light is coming from here, all right? This is the light source, okay? Let's do it this way, okay? And then on this vertical line, I have another point that I can put higher or lower that will give me the direction of the light, the direction. So for example, if I want to have a, a shadow that is doing something like that, then the point will be here because this point, it will give me the direction. So if I go higher, the direction will be this one. If I go lower, the direction will be this one, right? Let's see it. So let's put the, bot, the, the direction point D here, okay? So this is our direction, direction of the light. Light, direction. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do, we have to pick up, uh, I do this with a ruler, because it's gonna be easier and faster. I will take the, the point A, B, C, and D, e, the top point of every vertical side of my cube, okay? The top. I go from here and I do that. Look, I go from the light and I put those lines. Then I, I, I put also the B one. As you can see, there is a difference there. And the C, it's useless because it's inside the shape. So we don't care. Then I take the direction, okay? And what do I do with the direction? I hit the base of those, of those uh, vertical lines. So D1, A1, B1. Okay, this one, this one, this one, and this one. The C, of course, we don't do it, we said, because it's inside the shape. So, let's do first this one, the B. The B one with the line B is this one here. Let's make it stronger so we can see it. Now let's make another intersection, A1, okay, with A, and it's just exactly at the end here, okay, this point here, and then the last one will be D, with D1, and this is the point, so what do I do now, very simple, I just put those points all together, okay, and I have my cast shadow. This 
see is my cast shut. So let's make it darker, okay? So we can see it better. You see? So once again, the cast shadow of this cube is given by the light source is up there and the light direction, okay? The light source will hit the top of every surface, okay? And the light direction will hit simply the bottom, the base of those surfaces. In this case, D1, A1, and B1. The light direction can change. It's like when we turn in the light source, you know, the LED in front of an object, and then we see that the shadow moves. That's how we reproduce that with this sketch, with the technique, drawing technique. So, straight line, top line is the light, light, okay, and bottom line going up or down according to what we want to do which direction we would like to have in our composition okay it's the light direction okay so this is the rule number one for the shadow the cast shadow now when i have my my side view of a car okay let's make a quick sketch very good, okay? Very basic, okay? Okay, so if I have my... My little car here, okay. First thing, let's not forget that the minor axis of our wheel goes to the vanishing point. Okay, like this one. Too. Okay, here. And now, if we remember, you know, our rule of the light source and the direction, okay, very often you will see me making the, 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 the cast shadow of my perspective cast, okay, this way. Of course, I do by eyes, I'm not there making, you know, using the, the, the rule because more or less I I know what it is okay but let's analyze a little bit what I'm doing here this is the direction of my shadow okay so if i use that line i have a point here the direction of the line therefore from this wheel that's why i am like that you see then i have my front of the car that is here so those are the top points that will make the shadow of the car. And this one too, here and here, okay? So let's see, 
If I use the light source, I do that. I do that. Okay. I do that. Therefore, if this is the direction and this is the point where it's touching this part, you know, of the car, my shadow will be much longer. You see? And of course this part will be a little bit too sharp. Like this part. Here we have the reflection on my glass. A little bit of shadow here. Okay. All right. I hope that uh, with this little, little sketch, you know, it's a little bit easier for you to understand how we place the cast shadow on solid and how we try to guess on a more complex shape like a car the cast shadow okay thank you